fungi fungi and its occurrence fungi are also plant like microorganisms but because they lack chlorophyll they cannot make their own food most of them are saprophytic and some are parasitic in nature there are around 70000 species of fungi the study of fungi is called mycology fungi are found in soil water on the body of animals and plants and on any organic material like damp shoes leather goods clothes or on our food vegetables fruits jams jellies and pickles the fungal spores occur in the air nutrition in fungi fungi are non green plants and hence cannot make their food they are either saprophytic or parasitic the saprophytic fungi obtain food from dead and decaying organic matter over which they grow the parasitic fungi live in or on the body of living organisms and derive food from them they cause various diseases in plants and animals including human beings some fungi show symbiotic association with some algae and form lichens digestion in fungi is extracellular the digestive enzymes are secreted on the food and the digested food is absorbed reproduction in fungi fungi reproduce asexually by budding as in yeast binary fission regeneration or by spore formation as in mushrooms and molds spores remain in the air and help in the dispersal of fungi to distant places under unfavorable conditions fungi reproduce by sexual reproduction yeast occurrence and structure of yeast yeast is a unicellular fungus it is found in the air and in moist soil it readily grows in sugary medium like sugar solution sugarcane juice fruit juices grapes and grape juice it also multiplies in starchy medium yeast cells are ovoid each has a distinct cell wall a nucleus a large vacuole and a few glycogen vacuoles and fat globules nutrition and reproduction in yeast yeast cells utilize sugar and starchy material they secrete enzymes to break down these compounds into glucose yeast cells absorb glucose and use it to liberate energy by anaerobic respiration glucose is broken to ethanol and carbon dioxide releasing just 2 atp of energy c6h12o6 that is glucose gives 2c2h5oh that is ethanol plus 2co2 plus 2 atp energy the process is called fermentation Do you know it is because of this property 
that yeast has been utilized for making beer, wine, bread, idli, dosas, etc. Yeast reproduces mainly by budding and sometimes by binary fission. Bread mold Bread mold is a multicellular fungus. It grows on stale bread or vegetables and fruits. It looks like a white cottony mass initially but later turns to blackish gray. This mass is called mycelium. It is formed of fine thread-like hyphae. Its singular is called hypha. Most hyphae grow horizontally on the surface of bread, but some grow vertically upward. These are called sporangiophores. They bear black-colored sporangia, which are filled with spores. When they burst, the spores are liberated and grow into new plants. Bread mold respires aerobically. That is why it grows on the top layer of bread.